Oh, no, I just needed to see for myself. Thank you for waking him up. Is there any word on your nephew? No. No, not yet. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Look, I won't lose him again. So don't, don't let him out of your sight. Not even for one second, okay? I won't. Don't right. worry. Thank you. You were such a good boy on such a long trip. I'll heat up a bottle and then put him to bed. Thanks, Nora. Oh. What an adorable child. I believe he has your eyes, Nicholas. And, and look at how alert he is. They say it's a sign of intelligence, you know? So you work with Mr. Cassidyne, sir? Oh, well, you see, we're about to conclude a, a deal that is extremely beneficial to both of us. You could say it, it's going to save both our lives. Right, Nicky? <laughs> uh, thank you. You can, you can put him to bed now. Yes, sir. Good, Good night, little one. Oh, this is, this is Colleen, John's new nanny. John already has a nanny. Yeah, and Norma's prepared to, to stay on. Should we that much more? Can I help you? Hey! What is that? And then when we seen the truck, and it was on its side, and the engine was still running. Well, when I seen that it was a truck, I was afraid that someone would still be in there. I never thought at the time that I was going to be risking my life. But as she struggled to free him, another truck barreled around the corner and threatened to crash into them. Yeah, they were going to get killed! My friend started screaming for me to get back where she was because she was afraid I was going to blow up. Get out of there! I truly felt at that moment in time that I would have died with him if needed be. I'm pulling from my waist up, basically, just, you know, all my strength was in there. So I was really pulling then. I'm and sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, I was choking and coughing from the rubber and uh, the smoke. Jacqueline led Curtis to the safety of her car and started treating his injuries. The ambulance is on its way. 